Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Sweet Dreams. This is an interesting-looking demo I found on itch.io. It looked really, really interesting because from the itch.io page, it says that we play. This is a. This is what it says. You are immersed in a nightmare, and a creature will try to trap you. Your flashlight and your cunning are the only weapons you have at your disposal. Each night, the creature will be stronger, more insistent, and will try to trap you in different ways with deception and distractions. Learn its tactics to be able to face it, and don't let yourself be fooled. We'll be able to hold on until you free yourself from the dream in which you're immersed. Don't know. But this looked very interesting on the HIO, so of course I'm going to give it a try. You guys know how much I love my indie horror games I play. They're very fun. Anything looks good. Anything looks good there. Extras. Turn. So let's get into this. New game. Sweet dreams are made of these. Oh. Whoa. Okay. The mouse sensitivity is a bit on the high here. Okay. Ooh. Let's just bring that. Uh. Let's try that again. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm need to do it outside the game. And it closed out the entire freaking game. Okay. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Okay, I was actually able to fix in the settings this time, but it's a bit weird because you can't actually like if you try and move it with the mouse on top of the thing, it doesn't work. You have to actually like move it near it until it becomes gray. Then you can move it. it it's a, it's a bit weird, but yeah. So let's try this again. Move. Okay. Mouse and still feels high, but I guess I'll work with it. Just move, hold shift to go faster. Okay, so we play as a kid here. Let's see, pick E key or left mouse, interactive. Okay. Talk between first and third person. Put the flashlight on the charger to charge it. Close the window. Keep the window and doors closed. Will prevent the monster from entering. Still so high. Maybe it's my own, uh... Let's see. How's it with like this? That's a bit more manageable. There we go. Actually, I probably should have looked more around the room. I wanted to look, see if there's anything cool. Um, is that a second of you? Oh, that's not cool. That's really not cool. Also, I see a pink raccoon over there. Ooh, I saw you at the window. <laughs> you got a pink raccoon. A yellow witch looking. Is that a witch? It looks like a witch hat. Locks. UFO. Dyn Dinopheus poster. Looks weird. Wait, it's Mr. Hop. It's Mr. Hop! From Mr. Hop's Playhouse! Oh my god, I love the Mr. Hop games. I played all three of them. If you haven't checked out my videos on all three games, I recommend checking them out. They are some of my favorites. Oh, that's so cool. That's a fun little reference right there. There probably is other references here that I just don't notice. Like, I'm pretty sure this pink raccoon thing is probably a reference to something. I just don't know. There's also an egg. That probably is a reference to me. Well, first, let's actually start this game. The light damages their eyes. Ah. So go for the eyes, say. Eh? I got you, say. Check the windows, the doors. I should probably have this. There we go. Haha, <sighs> -ha, nice try, buddy. Oh boy, you gotta be quicker than that to get me. Uh -huh. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I do like the graphics of this game. It's really cool and gives Odmus feel to it. It's pretty good. I like it so far. Are you supposed to just make it to like 6 a.m. or something? Okay. 
The clock actually goes by seconds. I mean, minutes. Okay, I like that. Just break the blocks. Can I get into, like, the little castle thing over here? Probably shouldn't. Eh, oh, I can't. Okay, that sucks. Right now, the creature is not really attacking us. I don't even know what a creature is. It's just like a dream demon or just a shadow or or something. Cars. I do like how I do like how interactive this um. As I was say, I like how interactive this world is. I mean, look at this. We're just kicking over the crayons. Take that, Crayola. <laughs> it's fun. I, I like this. This is well made so far. I, I like it. I like it. I like it indeed. I think this game only has two nights and it's just a demo. And oh! Uh, <sighs> you close that door. Knock before you enter, buddy. How rude. How rude. <laughs> Oh, I think I see a Freddy Fazbear over there. Okay, yeah, there's more references. I think I see Shovel Knight up there. I think I see... Is that a Furby? That could be a reference to Tattletale, which was a, a Christmas Furby-based horror game. Indie game, a good few Christmas backs. Ah. I love these references. They're fun. Oh, no, you what the... Wait. Oh, there was two. <laughs> You gotta be quicker than that, buddy old boy. You gotta be quicker than that. How close am I? 243, okay. We're we, we, we doing real good here. We're doing real good here. It's almost clear charge. Bada boom, that's what I'm talking That's what I'm talking about. I do like how the light goes red whenever it's like over his eyes. That's a fun way to do that. What you gonna do, Mr. Hop? Hmm. I say, knock before you try and enter. How rude. That's just disrespectful. How rude. <laughs> Did I just hear a whistle? Oh, I think that's just a wind. I could actually probably stay near this charge area if I wanted to. But I like moving around. Because this air, this room of his is actually pretty cool. I wish I had a room like this when I was younger. Especially how big it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, look, think of the scale of this room with the kid in the bed. This room is ginormous. I had a rather small room when I was little. Jeez. Ginormous. I'm kind of jealous, you know? I was about to say, why can't this kid just, like, wake up his parents to try and help him? But then I remembered. He's in a dream, isn't he? Yeah, he's, like, in a dream being attacked by this creature. And, well, we saw how helpful the parents were back in Nightmare on Elm Street. So, we know parents probably wouldn't be that helpful in a situation like this. Where you're being attacked in your own dreams by a creature. <sighs> Always knock for you enter, buddy. No manners. Things are going really well so far. How close are we to winning? Oh, we got like one more hour. Move out the way, buddy. Move out the way. So all the music cues, anything. Move out the way. Ooh, is that one of those Guitar Hero guitars? Well, while since I've seen one of those. Wait, there's a dog barking? Wait, I thought we were inside a dream. Unless, no, wait, if you remember, it said that the creature will try and use distractions. So maybe that dog barking is actually just a distraction made by this creature.
cube brings into first person mode. I might try and do that for the rest of the night uh, after we're about to go into the next day. Whoa. Saw him there. <laughs> okay. Is it, uh, okay, so egg was an alarm clock. A little chicle in it. That's cool. Okay, what else? Okay, so... Like I said before, this is just a demo, so I'm pretty sure that this last night's all that's actually left. Give me a second while I try and fix something real quick. There we go. Okay. Now with that all out the way, still got to check one quick little thing. So no seeing small little issues with OBS, or is it just my computer? Sorry, I've been having technical issues for like the past week that I've been trying to fix. I hate it when it happens, but it happens. Anyone has technology that hates them. It happens, it happens. There we go. Okay. Back to this. Okay, let's continue looking around the room while we have a chance. Yeah, I think I see Shovel Knight up there. I think it's the Furby or a, a Tattletail. Uh, Freddy's Mask, Night Five Nights for someone said Nightmare Elm Street. It looks like a witch in yellow. I guess that might be a reference to something, but I don't know. Same with this purple raccoon. Or purple pink. Uh, the dinosaur toys look generic. I do like this little uh, castle. That's fun. But of course, we got Mr. Hop over here in the corner. I love that. Mr. Hop. That's a great reference. This... Is that supposed to be the do doge dog in a freaking tank? And this poster. Dynamorphous. Total power. Never heard of it. Looks weird. Well, not that all the way. I might try and do the second night's first person. I feel like that'd be a fun thing to do. So I'm going to do that. For the second night, I'll do it all in first person. So let's go ahead and get it started, shall we? Let's go. Here you go. Sleep. And I'll wake up in your dreams with whatever the frick this thing even is. It's supposed to be like a boogeyman or something. Yeah, it's fine. You'll be fine, kid. You're in semi-safe hands. <laughs> Look before closing. Oh, ooh, new mechanics. I'm always here for that. Oh, my nose. Oh, that's me hitting the blocks over. It sounded like... I thought he was going through like the closet or something. I can't tell what that is. Is it under the bed? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, is that just the floorboards or something? I think it's just the floorboards. Whoa, whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Whoa now. Gotta keep the charge. Nice try, buddy. Yeah, I hate the sound of creaking floorboards. It makes me nervous. Is he under the bed or anything yet? It doesn't seem like it. Those main windows are the ones I'm trying to like keep my eyes on. Oh, my nose. Oh my god, he's under the bed. He's really starting to worry me now. He's... He's going a lot more chaotic now. Who's 
of using the drone at a time like this? <sighs> Who's over in the bathroom? Come on, that's just... Now is not the time to be using the bathroom, man. And this is really creepy. It's almost three o'clock. Oh no, you don't. We're doing good. But the noises, they do make this. Oh, we need to stay away from the bed. He's right there. Come on. It's almost charged. Doing good, doing good here. Got a pattern going, got a rhythm going, things are going well. He's still under the bed, we gotta be careful if I got that. No sir. Oh, God dang it. Yeah, I know he's under the bed. This game is good at making me nervous. No, you don't. I'm doing good. I think I'm doing good here. Got rhythm going. Got things going. Nice. Good paste. Nice. Good pace. Not paste. God, I can't speak. Okay, dang it. Come on. Okay, we only got an hour left, and then that's it. Oh, come on, we're almost there. Oh, I saw him. He was trying to open a little cabinet thing over there. He was trying to open the cabinet over there. We did it. We had morning, y'all. Ooh. Okay. Wait, does that book say Boogeyman? Okay, is that what this creature is? Is it a Boogeyman? Start the next night. Oh, okay. So I guess this demo does have another night. I wasn't entirely sure how many nights this demo had, since I, for most games I've used usually have like two nights. I put her picture, you got a clown? Ugh. It's like a picture of family, I'm guessing. House, dog, dinosaur, boat. But yeah, I, I swear I saw this thing over here move. This little, uh, whatever you call it. I just call it cabinet. Yeah, I saw this move. Oh, that's going to be crazy. I'm guessing he's going to try and be faster and try and use that. Probably this and a castle over there. That's what my, I'm betting my money on. Okay. Well, we got we got a rhythm going on here. We got a rhythm. I think I'm going to stick with this first person mode because it kind of makes things a tad bit on the easier side. So let's go in. As my nose hates me. Mm. But this is fun! I really do love this game so far. Okay, I put on my headphone. Let's do this. Hoorah! 
don't let the light go out. Oh, give me more tasks to do. I don't you? Fine, I won't let the light go out. Just stay over here. This staying near the train station is like the best plan, honestly. What was that? Also, I'm noticing like little bits like red light now. Also, the room does look a bit darker now, so that's gonna. Oh god, dang it! Ah, oh, don't worry, I got the lights. Oh, what's that? Okay, oh, it looked like the kid. It looked like the kid we were playing as, but I think it looked like I had like no eyes and a black liquid coming out. Oh god, okay, um that That was good. That was a good jump scare. Round of applause for that. That got me. But now calm down, back in action. Roll work <sighs> dead. Need to charge this. Oh, it's just like a rocking horse. Oh, and a toy car, you jerk. It's all just trying to make it harder to hear. And a toy phone. The teddy bear. That's not cool. God, are you serious? This is so difficult now. They're holding no stops here, huh? They really amped up the difficulty for this night, huh? I'm almost there. They really just do not make anything easier on me anymore, are they?
That was close. Oh, he made it too. Okay, yeah. My god. Oof. That one was it really is getting just harder and harder here. Oh, that was it. Okay, thanks for playing Sweet Dreams. You can add it to your wishlist on Steam page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely adding it to my Steam wishlist page because that was fun. I loved that. That was so much fun. I really do love those like these kind of style of games. They're very fun, and I love how you can be either in first person mode or third person mode. Ugh, but I do want to check and see what kind of jump scares it has, like when you get like grabbed or killed, so let's do that real quick, shall we? Okay, there's also a fun little like gallery over here, so this thing is called the Sleepy Ones. Sleepers are empty shells that feed on the essence of nightmares. Oh, you guys can't really see it because my thing's in the way. These creatures are directed by the Entity. Oh, they're not. Oh, they're soldiers. Oh, that's a cool. That's cool. They have to follow certain rules and cannot cause damage to whoever complies with the rules. Creatures that grow stronger with terror of the victim chosen by the entity. Their mission is to prevent the victim from waking up. As the entity loses strength, they become more aggressive in assistance since it's, if the entity loses control over the victim's sleep, they will not be able to feed. So these creatures are attacking us. They're not even the main creature. They're just soldiers of this entity. That's so cool. In order for an entity to maintain a connection with the victim's dreams, the sleepy ones use red spores that cause a narcotic effect. That's what the little red dots were. were these spores in perceived at first, enhanced nightmare causing victim to gradually enter a kind of alternate reality that is increasingly dark and dark. This feeding and reinforcing the sleeping ones. Okay, that's so cool. Yeah, the main weakness of the sleepy is direct light to the eyes. The lack of eyelids existing in a sleeping world causes direct light to bring them to the brink of awakening. If a sleepy person is exposed to light for too long, they may wake up causing their own death. That's so cool. It looks like we're also missing a few things in the gallery. I don't know what it is we're missing exactly since we completed the demo. Let's see. A figure from an old tower is said that an ancient wizard lives in it. Okay. Dinoforces poster. A poster for a very common old 90s series from the time when pocket monsters were all the rage. <laughs> <coughs> I'm okay. This series has the curious quality of creating a strange Mandela effect among all those who watched it. Dawn Thus was broadcast a first day at 7 p.m. or so it was supposed since each chapter was broadcast on different day and time. Okay. Uh, Lariat, L Lariat, Lariat plush toy. A small plush toy that was given away at the exit of the Majorialto Museum. I definitely did not pronounce any of that correctly. Jasper plush toy, a small plush of the endearing purple raccoon. Oh, okay. What the f- <laughs> What is this? Kin kin ki I, I, I don't know how to say that properly. An action toy of a super muscular cat that kills aliens. It is engraved with the logo of the company that produced it. Komotachi. If you manufacture Chargertronic. 
Komatachi. I feel like I've heard that before. Mr. Hoppa, small plush toy, Mr. Hoppa. I know who this guy is. Small disturbing stuffed toy that was a gift. Despite not having any internal me mechanisms, sometimes you can hear a little music inside. Oh, that's a cool little Easter egg for a mask. A mask that comes as a gift with the children's menu of a well known pizzeria. In the area that closed due to strange events. There's a simple teddy bear. Book of the Boogeyman. Book that explains the history of a boogeyman portraying him with a hat and a trench coat. We may have a hat and trench coat. Okay. Command Dog Action Toy. Action Toy from Command Dog. The manufacturer comes out several different products, such as Cat Mageddon Toys, Kill by Legend, and many other products. Okay, I think the rest of the stuff just regular things. Yeah. Well, that's still really cool. There's also mini games. Green for Monkeys. Once Upon a Fairy Tale. We'll look at these probably when the full game comes out. But now I want to actually see what these jump scares, death jump scares are for this game. So see you guys in a second. You're a creepy one, ain't ya? Oh yeah, that's okay. So that's what that one looks like. I want to try one more thing. I want to see what happens if I let the on the third night when the night like goes away. I want to know what happens. Will that boogeyman creature just attack us or something else? That's what I want to know. Then that'll be it for this video. There we go. Okay, so nightlight is gone. What happens now? Ooh! 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 Ooh. Okay, um... Oh, 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 that is, oh, that is all sorts of messed up. You know what? Take me, but also you are. Oh, that's, oh, that's so creepy. I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, now that we've actually seen what the deaths and jump scares are like, which are really cool. <laughs> oh, man, this demo was amazing. I love the mechanics, and I can definitely see the story going many different ways, especially the fact that these creatures attack us are just soldiers of a creature called NT. I do want to check the gallery one more time, see if I can... Okay, I don't know how I can lock these, like, other parts of the gallery. Hopes to find out probably one day when the game fully comes out, because... Oh, man, this was so much fun. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave in the comments down below. But till then... I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.